60 years ago, thousands came together for the March on Washington, fighting for jobs and freedom. Serious strides have been made since that monumental day, but many believe we still have a long way to go. Atlanta News First reporter Asia Wilson live on Auburn Avenue in Atlanta. Asia, you met with a group of incredible students who are now leading a brand new charge. That's right, I did. And today I'm standing right at the John Lewis mural. You could see right behind me, Lewis was one of the youngest activists or the youngest activist to speak at the March on Washington. You could see part of his speech right here. High school and college students met today to launch a new platform in hopes of continuing the legacy and work of civil rights leaders. This I Have a Dream speech delivered by Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. 60 years ago in Washington is leaving an impact on a group of students in Atlanta. So many students are just genuinely scared of what's coming next. More than a dozen high school and college students stood under the John Lewis mural to announce the launch of the Young People's Platform, the official policy platform of the Georgia Youth Justice Coalition. Essentially what it does is it gets uh, many students from all across Georgia and we've taken time to survey them about the issues that they care about the most. Hundreds of students from 83 counties across Georgia spent the last few years pounding the pavement to overturn book bans and making ways with legislation at the state capitol. We remain committed to fostering a real sense of community for the young Georgians most under attack. Black, brown, immigrant, and LGBTQ plus youth. Now they're focusing on four key pillars like more funding for K through 12 in higher education, climate change, LGBTQ plus rights, and getting more resources for schools when it comes to mental health services and counseling. To ensure that future generations don't undergo discrimination, don't undergo the censorship. So I personally have younger brothers and sisters, so I really want them to have a supportive environment. They're fighting to carve new paths for the next generation. People before me, uh, Dr. Martin Luther King, John Lewis, and the, I call these people my heroes. In hopes of leaving a legacy while honoring the past. Now back out here live, the biggest thing now, they want more young people to join the fight. Now over the next three months, they plan to launch policy campaigns with some of the issues that you heard. I'm also told that the leaders say that they'll be working with lawmakers to actually file pieces of legislation. We're live tonight in downtown Atlanta. Asia Wilson, Atlanta News First. New at 11.